Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Meow, meow. In the last episode, we made a lot of progress at the Fountainhead Palace. Before I get back to that, though, I want to do a bunch of small things. First, somebody in the comments told me something about Orin of the Water, the apparition-type enemy, back at Mibu Village. They said that what they were wearing on their head was a Tengai. And I looked that up and I wanted to show you what that was about, like why it's worn and all that. Because there's a whole reason behind it. Um, so the Tengai is worn by the Komuso. They were a group of Japanese mendicant monks of the Fuke school of Zen Buddhism. Um, I looked up mendicant. It basically means somebody who lives off of charity. One who practices begging relies chiefly or exclusively on charitable do donations to survive. So yeah, they were a group of Japanese mendicant monks of the Fuke school of Zen Buddhism who flourished during the Edo period of 1600 to 1868. They were characterized by a straw bassinet. I didn't look at this. What is that? Oh my god. That's my, that's my next, next winter's fashion, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me wearing that shit. I'm looking like Madonna's bra, but on my face. <laughs> <laughs> my god, that thing's metal as fuck. <laughs> yeah, so a straw bassinet. This one's obviously not straw. Also, it doesn't look anything like a bag on a uh, uh, reed bag on your head. So I don't know what that's about. Mm, worn on the head, manifesting the absence of specific ego. They were also known for playing solo pieces on the shakuhachi. Yeah, I want to show you some pictures that I got of it too. Next thing on the list, and I should mention, I, uh, I've discovered a bunch of little things in the game because I did a bunch of farming off camera. Sometimes I just feel like playing the game and killing some enemies. Not that I actually have to farm, but, you know, I want money. Don't and, we all? And now I have a lot of it. Yeah. Two bulging coin purses, six heavy coin purses, two of that. And then I spent a couple thousand on emblems, too. Which only got me like 30 or 40 emblems, because now they cost 50. <sighs> But yeah, I discovered lots of little things. So, remember there's this door over this way at the dilapidated temple? I think I showed that on camera a while ago. I wasn't sure where it went and it wouldn't allow me to continue. Like, if I tried to use this, I think it just said it was locked from the other side or something. Mm -hmm. Well, I just went through here again, just out of curiosity, and it's not locked anymore. But it's not something new on the other side. It's a shortcut to Kuro's room. Huh. Which is pretty weird if you think about it. <laughs> Which is pretty weird if you think about it. Cause... Remember how we got to Kuro's room? I mean, I could just pop out or look out the window. We're at the top of a very tall tower and there's absolutely nothing around us. And... Somehow... I mean, I think we see a flash of like a tunnel. When we came through the other way? Did we see a tunnel for a second? Yeah, you see like a tunnel that goes somewhere. But like, how the hell does that lead here? How is that yeah. possible at all? Physically, there's like... No connection. Yeah, but there's also like all those weird symbols. Like, do you think it's magic? Oh, maybe. I would think it's more likely to be magic than just like really wonky level design. Yeah. Are the symbols on the other side, too? My question is, how is that faster than just traveling? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it is. Weird. Oh, you can see, like, marks in the ground where it spins. Yeah. And, yeah, there are the symbols on the other side. Definitely feels like magic. Do ne you believe in magic? I do. Orbit level design. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I discovered is actually pretty freaking huge. I went back to, I'm just going to call the jar dude, the dude in the jar at the Harada estate who sells you stuff for fish scales. Mm -hmm. And I chose to talk to them instead of trying to buy from them. And they had some new stuff to say. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, so I can't put footage of that in. But they were telling me how they dream of becoming a carp. They want to be like the biggest, best carp there is. 
They want to be one of the masters, which I think we've heard the carp referred to as that before. I think that description for the red eyes mentioned something about that. The red carp eyes that we got at Mibu Village. Mm. Um, and they also said that you smell like the Divine Realm. So I think the dialogue was triggered by me having been to the Divine Realm. And they gave me bait and said if I use it on that super big carp in the pond at the Divine Realm, that they will be able to like take over the carp's body and finally fulfill their dream of being a carp. <laughs> Carpkin! Carpkin! And that they would give me their super special treasure. So that's pretty huge. They just said to use it on the carp. Um, it's not a quick item. It's a key item. Truly precious bait. <laughs> if bait has hair, you know it's something truly special. The Harada noble in the pot is obsessed with thoughts of becoming a master. He who receives the scales of the carp becomes closer to a carp himself. I bestow up unto you my secret treasure. Hmm. So that's why they want to buy the scales, because it makes them feel like they're closer to being a carp. Carpkin. Oh, I forgot about the water of the palace. Uh. Um, yeah, let's look at the eyes, because I think that mentioned master. Yes. A carp that lived in the Mibu village pond, it has two red eyes. Carp with only eyes that are red cannot become masters. Though they're considerate and complete creatures that lack the ideal number of scales, their eyes are said to be everlasting. Hmm. God, those look so disgusting. Hmm. Another thing is also something another commenter mentioned. They mentioned that the only place where people resurrect in Mibu Village is close to the groundwater level. Because these waters are helping them resurrect. It's like infected, fucked up water. And then I started thinking about that. And they're right. These enemies up here, nothing will respawn here. Nothing will respawn up there. The only things that respawn over here are the ones that spawn like deep, deep down here where it's really low. So it's actually elevation based. They only respawn around groundwater level. Which is probably very intentional. That's why they all seem to respawn, like, here. Back here. Yeah. It's because, like, the groundwater is responsible for the resurrection. Mm. It's like the fountainhead water, or... I don't know. Something's, something's wrong with the water. I mean, hell, we've been... We've dived in. I mean, look at that. The water's mm. fucked up. <laughs> so, it's based on... The water level, actually. It was a really nice little detail. Hmm. Another thing I discovered while farming is... Well, kind of two things. I discovered a nice trick with the Tonto. So I guess it's not really a trick, but it's just something I never thought about. If you're farming and you don't need to conserve your healing items, you can get some free uses out of stuff like the Golden Vortex. Just by, like, using that. Killing it back up, and I get one use of the Vortex without using up my actual spirit emblems. Oh. So I can get a bunch of free uses. That's nice. And I also realized that using the Golden Vortex around this massive group of enemies is really, really fun. You can round them all up. It's absolute chaos. It's hard to actually use it, but when you do, you can disappear like a dozen of them. <laughs> the thing is, though, these enemies are kind of special when you spirit them away, they actually disappear. So you're not gaining any extra loot, I think. Because it's basically the equivalent of just mm. killing them. You don't, like, get their loot, and then you can kill them and get more loot. But it's still very fun. So let's see if we can do it without dying. It's like three, four, five, six. I don't know, seven. Eight, nine. Yeah, it's like a dozen. Here's a couple more. Most of them can't throw stuff, but they can throw the occasional thing. Get a big group. <laughs> Just gathering. <laughs> I've never actually been this patient and waited for them to gather like this. <laughs> oh no, they've lost sight of me. Look up. I'm here. 
Patience of virtue. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and seven hundred gold. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Whoa. It's really fun. Last thing to do, let's speak to Lord Ishin, see if they have anything new to say, and also give them the nasty fountainhead water that we got, got in the divine realm. Kinny big. Tokini Sekiro. Onushito Kuro no Fushidachi no Iksa. Tsubagiwa no Yojana. Fushidachi no Iksa o Habanu Mono. Kitaka. Oh, referring to your dad. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have the option to give him more drink. I don't feel like drinking anymore. Which means I have to either give it to Emma or the sculptor. And we're not gonna. But then what do I do with it? Surely it has no other use. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to use it, I suppose. Yeah. But what if they'll tell me a nice... Emma will tell me a nice story about the monkey. Yeah. Mm, nice monkey story. Yeah, I'm definitely not giving the divine waters to Emma or the sculptor. Hopefully they'll have some other use. I don't want to infect them with anything. Mm. Okay, back to the Fountainhead Palace. Let's take on the bull over here. Oh, you know what? I should probably go to the roof and kill those enemies or they might see me and come down. Oh. Uh, yeah, that would really mess up things. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they would see me. Easy enough to deal with. Make sure they don't. Yeah, they are. That one's looking. They're all looking that way, actually. Yeah. They all love that fucking bull. Can they hear the suck? <laughs> they can't. Absolutely oblivious to the suck. Okay. Where's it at? At the back? Oh yeah, I hear it. Oh, hello. So yeah, pretty sure it has terror stuff strapped to that log so I've got the gourd here it's an animal so I'm gonna use long spark yeah okay should I try to get a overhead it didn't work sure there's also this like is that any use I don't see how that would help me kill it Maybe when you're on the ground level and try to get away with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that allows you to get distance quickly. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. It's possible. Maybe I just didn't hit the right spot before. Mm. Is it? I kind of already forgot what that was. Was that like midway? I was thinking it'd be on their head. Yeah. Oh, it's not actually, it didn't oh. actually kill it, but it hurt a lot. Okay. Oh, there's probably a delay on that working again. Nope. Oh yeah, there is.
Oh. Oh. Strong fucking bull, huh? Yeah, it tends to hurt even if you deflect, just because of its sheer size, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I think I just do need to get distance until I can firecracker it. Mm. I wasn't getting any terror, weirdly enough, so what's on its horns? Hmm. I have no idea. Ready to go again. Let's stick a vitality. Damage reducing sugar. Come on, bull. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, I'm already here. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, damn! How did... How did that do so much? Yeah, what the fuck happened? Wow. Oh. Beast's karma. Yay. Spirit um yep, um Perhaps this innocent beast was burdened with the karma of man. Inheriting the karma of those they've killed is also part of being shinobi. Oh. Uh. It seemed sorta of undead. Yeah, it had like it, like it it didn't have a face, it just had a skull. Yeah. Maybe it's like super weak to attacks in the back or something? I don't know. Hmm. Bulging. Mm. Oh my god. Adamantite scrap. I need something to spend my money on. I literally don't know what to spend my money on. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should just... No, no, don't bite down. <laughs> Let's go back and let's use the beads. Let's use the beads. I'm having such an anal time. I want them in my ass. Use the beads. Do you want me to keep that in the recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Attack power, that's not it. Physical attributes. An unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord. Dismissed after giving to drink, he fell to a life of brigandry. And so he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. Ah. Hmm. That's who they were. They used to be a sumo wrestler. So they weren't an Oni. Yeah. Just a human dude. Just a big duder. See if there's anything at this... Five story, yeah, five story pagoda. I love how it's all overgrown. Mm. Ooh. I'm scared about that fish. <laughs> so I need to bait it. Like, do I need to kill it? If they want to become it? I. Don't know. I want to hold off on killing it because that might make it so I, you know, they couldn't become it or something. Yeah. Looks like there's no way up to the higher floors. Mm. Nope. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this bridge was intact before, but at one point when I was farming, I just came to this point here and I walked forwards a couple steps and I think the giant carp like jumped up and broke this bridge oh and it seems to just happen once so when you come back here it doesn't happen again so missed that but yeah I think it broke the bridge cool good for them I don't think I want to explore the water yet I don't know when should I 
I can't wait for you to explore the water. I have to say, I am so hyped for you to just explore that motherfucking water. Hmm. I'm scared, though. And I also don't know how to use the bait. It's not a quick item. It's a key item. So I can't just, like, use it. I have to use it on something. So I wonder if I could find something, like a special place to put it. A, f a fishing rod? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll find like a like a fish trap underwater. Could be. Do you want me to go in the water? Yes. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Yeah. What the fuck? What's causing that? Should, should you go up and... Oh! Oh! Well played. Oh. <laughs> I guess you have to kill whoever the fuck that is first, huh? Okay, that is the game saying, Nah, man. No water yet. I got a fucking jump scared. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're making yourself more vulnerable to lightning. You got me there. Because, yeah, it did more lightning damage than it did earlier. Yeah. So you have to kill that dude first. Freaking sniper. Are you gonna shoot me from... I think only if I go in the water, probably. Yeah. Oh, what's that? They're playing with a ball. Oh. It's cute. Oh. The ball moves very weirdly. Very weirdly. Cool place. Oh, they're playing ball over there. <laughs> Just like exercising and training. Huh. And now I need to kill them all. Oh, uh, don't see you like that. Oh. Yeah, this place is gorgeous. Hmm. I mean, I am kind of the bad guy here, sort of. Like, I'm coming to their beautiful place and killing them all and then trying to kill immortality. So I'm, like, super killing him. Yeah. Was the one on this roof higher up? Yeah. Ah. Ooh, it's also one over there. I'm trying to figure out which one to take out first so that they don't see me. No! Okay, it's just that. It's fine. Whatever. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, the ball's a weapon! Oh, that oh. is cool! Throw it at my face, please. That's super cool. Throw more, I want to know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> they just throws your posture! Oh, I love it. They lost sight of me. Maybe they should stop standing behind that tree. <laughs> oh. Idle up there already? Wow. Actually, it is. It will take a little bit to get there. I think. Yeah, I've got to go, like, down that courtyard and then up there and then over that way. So, a little sneak peek. 
Oh, Jesus. Was that another ball? Because, good God, that won't fuck you up. Oh, I saw an... Oh, this is perfect. In the air. Death blow. Watch this. Come on. Do another... No. Ow. Damn it. Those are super cool enemies. But yeah, I want to get an in-air death blow. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah. That's really cool. That was worth dying once. Yeah. Oh. No, we can actually get there pretty quickly. What can I? Hmm. I don't think I can make that jump. How do yeah. you get over there? Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Huh. How do you get over there? Maybe there's some like underwater way. Hmm. Or maybe I can get up a level higher. Yeah, I think a little higher would help you jump over there. Oh, that was in midair? Yeah. Should have been a death blow. This place is so cool. Yeah, this should allow me to get over there. I heard... I hear them. Above me? Lizard? Ooh. Where? Should I try to make the jump? Yes. Push. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Should I try again? Yes, I think you would just hit a bad angle. Is there like something to swing from? No. Yeah, I think you just should aim squarely on the bridge. Damn. I love how they've made this so hard to get to. Yeah. Like, it looks so close, but it's actually really hard to get to. <laughs> There's probably some super special way to get there. I doubt it. Damn! Is bulleted somehow. Yeah, those are special balls. I want to know what's in them. Who saw me? Uh oh. Uh oh. looks like they should be making it.
Have we commented on how cool this game's battle system is recently? Oh, recently? Probably not. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know if I want to keep trying those jumps because I keep taking damage. That's fair. That's fair, isn't it? I bet there's a secret way. I bet it's under or over. But think about like what areas do you access from that statue? I don't. It wouldn't make sense that further down the line we'd have access to that statue that would only give us access to this area. I truly think that it has to be for this area here. Just wonder about the salamand. Oh wait. It's a grapple point, but it's not appearing. Oh, fuck. Just because it's not appearing doesn't mean we can't reach it from jumping. Mm -hmm. It didn't appear at all. Mm. Yeah, maybe there is a carpal point, but it's from the water. Like, from the water down there. Oh, there'd be no line of sight to it. Yeah. I think there's a pathway in there. Okay. There's a building over there. I bet there's a pathway that leads, like, through the rock. Yeah. There. Uh. Okay. So, I think there's a pathway through the rock. Like, that building over there. There's probably a pathway through the rock, and that's probably the salamander, or the gecko, rather, that I was hearing. Somewhere inside. And then it looks like there's a pathway right where my head is. Yeah, so I think that's how we're supposed to go there. Which means I should focus on that. Before taking out all the other enemies, because I'm not doing great. Mm. On a rest. How do I get up there? What a cool little building. Yeah. It's got a tree on its roof. How do I get up there, though? No idea. Whoa. Oh. Didn't even see them. Should I explore first? Should I loot or should I just go straight there? Uh, just go straight there, I think. Aha! I hear noises in there. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like noises. Me neither, and I have to go in there. I saw the tiniest flash for a second. What? Hmm. What am I seeing in there? Hmm. Oh my god, something real bad. There's a ton of elders in there just like making noises and moving weirdly. You it's just full of elders. Nobles? Nobles, yeah.
What are they doing? They're eating something? Oh. Well, there's a bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them. I am scared to open that. I hope it's not open. I hope it just does not open from this side. Yes. Oh. That's sort of a relief, but also now I can't get to that point. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna have to fight them enemies. I don't even know how to start getting over there. I, I don't have any clue. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Oh. So I need to get on the ceiling. Roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is oh. on fire. Ugh. Someone's coming. It's like ran out. How do I get up there? No idea. This place is a big puzzle. They keep seeing me inside of there, I think. Oh. How the heck? They're doing the walking into the other person's back thing again. That's how they have sex, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Let's try this. Great. Perfect. You gotta revive? Yeah, I don't want to use it, though. Oh, they're a whole damn boss, huh? Wait. Is it them? I have no, I don't think it was them. It must Who be an other enemy. It? That's the same type of warrior that I fought in the pit, in the pit of darkness. But yeah, where were they? I don't think that was them. No. Okay, well, I got all my stuff back, thank God. Because that was terrible. Everything about that was terrible. <laughs> Not everything, because he got a mid-air kill. That's true. For the first time. Hey. That's probably where the bait goes. Where? It's one of those pots. The pot dude was in. Huh. That's probably where the bait goes or something. It's oh. got to be related to that. Or maybe there's just another one here. Yeah. Or maybe they just met me here. <laughs> How did they get here? It's so cute how they just play with the ball and laugh while they're doing it. They're having so much fun. Yeah. Alright, slow and methodical. Not gonna take a bunch of damage jumping over there. 